What's up guys? Today I'm going to be talking to you about my number one main guitar, this bad boy. Let's get started. So this is my, not first guitar, but this is the guitar that I was given uh, when I first wanted to become a professional musician and start taking things a bit more seriously. Um, when I was 18, I was given this very kindly by my uncle. And this said axe, if you like, is a 1996 California series Telecaster. It's a series that, as far as I'm aware, was run for two years and it differs from a range of the American standard Telecasters in a number of ways. First off, it has an arguably thicker neck than most Telecasters. Whenever I play uh, Mexicans or I play American standards, deluxes or specials, the neck is always slimmer, which is uh, comfortable, but just because I've had this for four years now and I'm so used to this, this neck tends to be my neck of choice. And I haven't really found many teddies that actually have this same neck. Uh, when I actually find out what the neck is specifically, I probably will go and find a Telecaster with the same neck. It also differs in another way that I have, as you can see, my pickup configuration is a single coil and a humbucker. Uh, not many Telecasters tend to have a humbucker in the neck, and most people that I uh, play with, or anyone that actually comments on this guitar, always comments on the fact that it's got the humbucker in the neck. The way I like using this uh, in particular is they're both Tex-Mex pickups, for example and the uh, single coil is really really like nice and bright and it's really punchy for rock and the uh, neck pickup I'm just quite literally in love with so when it comes to me playing jazz stuff the moment I flick over to it and I roll the tone down ever so, sli ever so slightly it warms up incredibly. It's also really diverse because I actually have a five-way selector rather than a standard three-way so that means that I can actually get the kind of combination of the two I can get the in and out of phase sound a little bit more like a strap. So when it comes to playing funk stuff, I find this Telecaster is arguably more diverse than most Telecasters. And I love it for that reason as well. It's very beaten up just because of the uh, fact that it's been used for four years now. Uh, it's been used on a handful of tours. It's been used in all sorts of teaching and traveling scenarios. But I'm actually, a huge lover of guitars that have been relicked. I, I, I like the custom shop relics and I like the guitars that have intentionally been made to look like they've been used a lot, but there's something just heritage and a story behind a guitar that you actually uh, damage and gets beaten up and worn over time anyway. So everything on this bad boy is pretty much stock with the exception of two things. Um, I switched out the tuning pegs because the original tuning pegs, the high E, had gone. And a really good friend of mine, an incredible guitar tech, he's called Dan Jones. He has a, uh, a guitar uh, repairs kind of uh, tech company called uh, Tone Mason Guitar Works. I would definitely urge you to check him out because all throughout my degree and even now after having studied, uh, he's the guy that I just go to when anything goes wrong. He just fixes it like that. He's an incredible guy. And he, he also builds pedals as well, which is really, really cool. So he's definitely someone that guitar players want to know. So he suggested I went and got some locking tuners. So because this is uh, the vintage configuration, I went and got Gota vintage locking tuners. And I have to say, I can, I can vouch for these entirely because I had them put on by Dan before my first tour last year. And throughout the whole tour, whenever I got this Telecaster out, the tuning had barely moved a, a bit at all. And it was in, in the scenarios of being on the back of a tour truck with loads of gear being driven up and down the whole of the UK and it was uh, around December and November so it was cold it was being driven overnight and every time I got it out of its case the tuning had barely budged it was incredible and even still now they're going strong and it's not even been a year and, and they're just they're incredible <laughs> The only other thing that I've switched out is for safety, I put strap locks on them. And the strap locks I've got, there's tons of them out there, but I wanted to be a bit of a uh, brand whore, forgive my language, uh, at the time. So I went and got the uh, Fender strap locks just to kind of go along with the Fender Telecaster. And they've been brilliant ever since. They uh, haven't failed me once. This guitar has had quite a lot of play on it, especially the fretboard. I don't know how much that will show up. You can certainly see around here, all of the markings in the fretboard are natural, which uh, 
It wasn't until recently a bass player friend of mine uh, pointed out that when I first got this guitar four years ago, uh, the fretboard was pretty much pristine. There was a few marks up here, but it was otherwise pretty much pristine. And perhaps being someone that plays it regularly, I don't notice this. It's much like practice. You tend not to see that you've improved until someone either points something out to you or uh, you're in a scenario and realise you can suddenly do it, where you couldn't do it whereas you couldn't do it before. So again, my friend just said to me, wow, the neck's really worn in. And, and a lot of people point it out to me now. So uh, it's just a comfortability factor for me as well. Playing this, having been worn in and having not, not having any like, lacquer on it or anything at all um, is just incredibly comfortable. I'm not really the biggest fan of playing brand new guitars because I always feel like there's this little barrier between me and the guitar in the sense that it's not been worn in yet. But I think that's every, uh, with every guitar. The more you play it, the more it gets worn in, the better you enjoy it. So yeah, guys, I thought I'd show you guys my Telecaster. I've got a couple of other guitars, and I'll make videos about them as well. So until then, until the next video, take it easy.